And I've just had the great privilege of speaking at a conference with Steve Bradbury. He was the Olympic gold medal winner at the 2002 Winter Olympics for speed skating. Great speaker, but even greater story. See, Bradbury's a regular Aussie guy. He enjoys legendary status in Australia, has been invited over a thousand times to tell his story at conferences around the world. It's an inspirational story. He competed at three Winter Olympics with little success, and prior to the 2002 Winter Olympics, he suffered two serious injuries to his neck and then to his leg. His attitude, dedication and commitment saw him recover in time for the 2002 Winter Olympics, where he qualified for the final. In the final, he was up against the world's best speed skaters. Even his coach admitted he did not have much of a chance. And as the race progressed to the final lap, he found himself in last place, tucked behind the world's best. But as the skaters came round the last bend in the final lap, an amazing thing happened. All the skaters in front of him collided and fell. And he came through from last place to take first place and to win an Olympic gold medal. He told me he questions himself on whether he should take the gold medal. But he thought to himself, it had taken him three Olympics. He had seen through some terrible injuries and 12 years of dedicated training and sacrifices to become an overnight success. In business, we can face many difficult situations, weather conditions, staffing problems and operational breakdowns. We have all kinds of negative distractions. Our motivation drops when life starts to get tough. No matter what the conditions are, stay in the game. Never give up and go and do a Bradbury. Dear customers and value partners, as we navigate through the unprecedented times that face us with the coronavirus pandemic, we continue to be agile in our response to the situation. We are assessing and adapting preparations and actions as a business and service provider, ensuring we can facilitate our services for you, our clients. Future recycling are conscious of our role in your service requirements and we encourage you to maintain open communication with us over the coming days, weeks and months as we all adjust to the changing landscape. Our first priority is to ensure the well-being and safety of our people that collect, process, recycle your waste services. As you've done with your businesses, we too have put in place a considerable and measured business continuity plan. Our daily hygiene program at a minimum includes the following. Our facilities have been cleaned daily, procedures for our operators when changing equipment, social distancing, requirements enforced, daily temperature checks for our staff and contractors on site. Our service level is essential to our plans and we've already employed many facets of our plan to control any potential impact across our business units we participate in. Our different business units work in parallel to one another to ensure the overall business is not at risk Future Recycling will continue to facilitate communication forums for our customers and value partners and I would further encourage you and your staff to maintain communication with us for the most up-to-date and factual information regarding the commodities market. Our website futurerecycling.com.au will provide updates on the evolving situation. However, we do appreciate many of you may require other pertinent information specific to your requirements. It has been an interesting time in global markets, something the world has never experienced. Future Recycling remains committed to working and adding value to all our partners and customers. We are in this together. I wish you, your family, friends and colleagues all the very best during these uneasy times. Stay safe.